Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a VPN container that will allow us to connect other containers to it to encrypt all of those containers' internet traffic. So uh, let's jump over to my desktop and take a look at how to get all of this VPN connection stuff set up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here is actually, uh, I'm going to click exec console on just a random container that we haven't touched yet. I'm going to go to MB. I'm going to click console. I'm going to click connect. Uh, then I'm going to say curl ifconfig.io. And right there is my home IP address. You can see that it starts with 67. Of course, I'm not going to show you the rest of that because that would be dumb. But uh, here we can see that uh, my IP address starts with 67. And we'll want to keep that in mind uh, for the rest of this tutorial. Okay, so here we are on hub.docker.com. Uh, this is uh, Q McGraw's uh, Gluten. Uh, like it says here, it's a lightweight Swiss knife VPN client to connect several or to connect to several VPN providers. I dig this one because it will allow you to connect to PIA, Mulvad, Windscribe, uh, Surfshark, CyberGhost, Viper VPN, NordVPN, Pure VPN, Pravado VPN, uh, plus all the, so others. It will connect to a ton. You can use a ton of different VPN providers for this uh, for this client. So well done on them for that. So what we want to do is scroll down just a little bit and uh, come down to here. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy this. What I like to do in these cases uh, is actually open up notepad and, uh, and I'm just going to kind of break this down on what this looks like. I'm gonna do this kind of line by line. Oh, it is already line by line. Never mind. So uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to run this detached as gluten. Uh, we're going to add net admin uh, to the permissions here. Uh, the uh, the VPNSP, you'll want to uh, dictate uh, who you're going to connect to there. I believe there's more information uh, in the notes in here yeah, for uh, for the setup. After that, you're going to select your region. Um, you can uh, By default, it's got Montreal. Uh, you can select whatever region is available for your VPN. Uh, below that, you're going to put in your username here, uh, right there. And then your password uh, will go here. And then you'll want to mount a path uh, for your configuration stuff for gluten. So then you'll just copy that and then paste it. And then we'll log into here. Oops, we're going to log into Mighty Mouse. And of course, it always opens it in the wrong darn window. So I'm going to log in as root. Right, and then you'll just paste that in there, uh, press go, and then it will deploy the container. Uh, so once that's done, then we can jump over to Portainer here. And uh, right here, we can see that we've got our containers. Uh, this is Mighty Mouse. This is the one I've been running uh, my most recent uh, tutorial series on. Uh, so right here, we've got Gluten up and running. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, just to make sure that it is running, is I'm going to look into here. It uh, looks like we've got an IP address of 188.126.94174. Next thing I want to do, this is going to be kind of a few steps to get this to work. But what I want to do is encrypt my jacket connection. Uh, that's the one that actually talks to the indexer and downloads the files and, and, and does all of that uh, traffic across the internet. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this container. We're going to come up here. We're going to click on duplicate and edit. And then we're going to actually come over to here. We're going to memorize uh, this ho or the, this IP address, this port, rather, this port of 9117. We're just going to delete that. Uh, and then we're going to deploy the container and we're going to say replace. And then once it's uh, replaced, we're actually going to come back in and edit it one more time. Uh, it's just in order for this to work, sometimes you can't do multiple things at once because of the way of order of operations, basically, with how this stuff works. But here you can see on Jacket, if we come all the way over, the ports are missing, so that's good. We're going to open this back up. We're going to click on Duplicate and Edit. Then we're going to scroll down to Network. And right here, we can see the network is Media Server Default. What I want to change that to is Container. And I want to select Gluten down here. That's the container we're going to use for the network. And then we're going to click on deploy and we'll say replace. So that's good to go. Now, the next thing we want to do is actually, this is going to be where it gets kind of weird. We're going to come into Gluten, uh, the, the VPN container, and we're going to publish a new network port here. And what we want to do is put in 9117. Uh, that's the port that is uh, for uh, Jacket. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to click on deploy the container. And we'll click replace. <clears throat> so here it is still in the process of deploying. It's just going to take it a minute uh, to go through and do what it needs to do here. Okay, so now you can see that gluten is starting, but now that 9117 is up here. 
So we're going to go ahead and let this do its thing. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that we've still got a, an IP address here. And it looks like we do. DNS over TLS is ready. Uh, we've got a, an IP. So this is showing that our IP address here is 192. Let me see if I can scroll down. No. Or sorry, 188.126.94174. Uh, and that's in Sweden. So what we want to do next is actually come over to here. We want to make sure that if I click this, uh, that it's going to take me over here to Jacket. We'll give it just a second. So we thought about it. Uh, so now it's going to think about it a little more. Let's actually come back over. So let's come into here and just do some troubleshooting real quick. We're going to connect. And what we're going to do is we're going to run a curl command. That's just saying, hey, go get some information for me. And we're going to pull that information from ifconfig.io. All right. So it couldn't connect. So let's go back. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's verify that our network connection here. So for some reason, it didn't save that. So what we're going to do, we're going to reselect uh, gluten here. For some reason, it didn't take. Uh, and I, I'm kind of glad this showed up so you could see. Sometimes you got to go, go through this a couple of times in order to do what it needs to do. So then let's uh, let's verify that this is working. Uh, where to go? Jacket. Let's open this up. All right. So then let's come back over here and refresh. There we go. Now, the reason it didn't save or take uh, those network settings properly is because things I did things a little bit out of order here, uh, not necessarily on purpose, but I also wanted to show what happens if you do things out of order. Uh, so so this, while, while we were able to get this fixed, uh, this was done a bit out of order. Here in a second, I'm going to show you the proper order in which to do things to uh, help alleviate some of these troubleshooting steps. But this is what happens if you do things out of order. So now, uh, I will say something that has happened to me uh, a couple of times when I've deployed this is I did lose my indexer data connection right here uh, to my indexer. Um, luckily, it's super easy to go back and, and put that back in there. Uh, but I've had it also not delete this data uh, to connect to the indexer. It's kind of a crapshoot in that regard. Uh, so just be aware of that. But let's verify uh, that what we're getting here uh, is the correct information. So. If we come back over to here, I'm actually going to pop this open in a new tab so that we can come down here and see that the public IP address is this 188 address. So what I'll do, I'll come back over here to Jacket. I'm going to open this console. I'm going to say connect. And again, I'm going to do this curl command uh, of um, curl.ifconfig.io. We're going to give that just a second. And right there is the IP address that we're looking for. Uh, so that tells us that our data is being secured from Jacket through our Gluten VPN. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Let's actually take a look at Radar. Uh, we don't need to do Radar because it doesn't connect to the internet. Um, but let's go ahead and do this anyway. So we'll go ahead and click on Duplicate and Edit. We're gonna delete this port. Remember, 7878 is what we're looking at here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Then I'm gonna scroll down and click on Deploy the Container and click Replace. Let's close out some of this other stuff here. So still deploying. Okay, <clears throat> so here we've got radar. There's no port on radar anymore. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back to gluten. We're gonna duplicate and edit. We're going to publish a new port. And remember this one's 7878, just like that. Um, so then what we'll do is we'll scroll down. We'll click on deploy the container and we'll click replace. And again, we'll give this just a moment to do its thing here. Uh, so now of course we wanna come back to radar. Uh, we want to edit radar again. We want to scroll down to network. We're going to switch this to container. We're going to select gluten and we're going to click on deploy the container and then we'll click replace. And then we're going to come back in and double check this to make sure that uh, it actually took those settings uh, because we didn't last time and it kind of bit us a little bit here. So let's come back into here. Uh, you know what? Let's just come into duplicate and edit network. Okay. That one says it's connected. So let's go back and let's go back. And so here we've got, uh, 7878 here, so let's go ahead and click on that. And there is Radar, so let's come back over to Radar uh, down here. We're going to click on this console. We're going to click Connect. We're going to say curl ifconfig.io. And right there is that 188 address that we had before. So that tells us that all of our data here is being encrypted through our VPN. 
Okay guys, so there you go. There's how to set up a VPN container and connect other containers to it and still have local access while encrypting all of their internet traffic. The great thing about this particular uh, VPN container is that it does work with so many different uh, service providers out there. Uh, I actually use a PIA or private internet access. Uh, if you want to, there's an affiliate link in the description down below. I won't make any money on that if you use it, but I'll get some extra free time on their service. So if you want to check out that link, definitely do that. Uh, hopefully you found the video helpful. This is a video that's been asked for several times uh, since I started doing Docker videos. So hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. It would really help me out a bunch. Uh, while you're down there looking at the description for uh, links and things like that, there's also a couple of different ways you can support the channel uh, via Patreon or uh, coffee or a channel membership or whatever the case may be. I do want to give a big shout out to my channel members as well as my patrons. Thank you so much for your continued support month after month. I really do appreciate you guys. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.